And now we'd like to take the time to recognize our Wildcat Sports Programs. Let's give a warm welcome to Volleyball. Swim. Tennis. Basketball. Cross country and track. Soccer. Baseball. Softball. Golf. Our athletic trainers. And last but not least, our very own Wildcat football players. And now I'd like to give a special thank thanks to our faculty and staff tonight that helped our first annual parade and pep rally be such a success. Homecoming Court nominees. Your first old school king nominee is Mr. Baloo. Mr. Baloo believes that children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be. He decided long ago to never walk in anyone's shadow. If he fails, if he succeeds, at least he will keep his dignity because the greatest love of all he's found is Miss Lee. We'd also like to say, hashtag better than you, hashtag awesome, hashtag fine arts forever, hashtag bean is a silly name. Next, Mr. Bean. <laughs> Mr. Bean moved to Texas last year and has loved everything about it. He currently teaches marketing and finance and is honored to have been nominated. He's especially grateful to Mr. Kraft for not running this year so that the rest of the nominees would have any hope of winning. <laughs> now for a little bit about him, all of which are almost actually true. His wife is significantly more attractive than he is. He once came in sixth place in a Tri-City Amateur Sumo Tournament. His favorite thing to say to his students are, does that make sense? And accept it and move on with your life. He once went bowling with Christina Aguilera and beat her badly. She isn't a very good bowler. He learned how to give bear hugs from an actual bear. He really likes tacos. He is the most interesting old school homecoming nominee. And your next King nominee is First Sergeant Randall. In slang, old school is old school. Can refer to anything that is from an earlier era or anything that may be considered old-fashioned. The term is currently used to suggest, suggest a high regard for something that has been shown to have lasting value or quality. In our Exhibit A, First Sergeant Randall is the epitome of old school. From his music that he enjoys to his daily driver, a 1992 Mustang that he drives to school every day. First Sergeant Randall is 48 years old. He is an athlete beyond his years. He has the charisma of a teenager and the intellect of a seasoned wise man. Everyone he comes in contact with always leaves him with a smile on their face. First Sergeant is known as 156 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. He is the greatest thing since sliced raisin bread. 
and will always be regarded as the undisputed old school faculty member of the Tombow Memorial High School staff, regardless of how the final vote pans out. A popular vote alone, First Sergeant wins the distinction annually by default every year. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the WBO, WBA, IBF, old school welterweight champion of the world, First Sergeant Anthony Randall. Your final King nominee is Coach Woodard. Coach Woodard is the head men's soccer coach and assistant football coach. Here are some interesting, interesting facts about him. Coach Woodard and Superman once fought as a bet. The loser had to wear his underwear outside his clothes. Coach Woodard counted to infinity twice. Coach Woodard can slam a revolving door. Coach Woodard can win a game of Connect Four in only three moves. Coach Woodard doesn't read books. He stares at them down until he gets the information he wants. <laughs> Coach Woodard made a Happy Meal cry. <laughs> Coach Woodard can divide by zero. <laughs> and your first old school queen nominee is Miss Kilcoin. <laughs> Ms. Kilcoin is the math department's fearless leader. This is her 25th year teaching high school math, and she has only had to be institutionalized twice, as far as we know. The last time she actually attended homecoming as a student, football was a new sport. So this is very exciting for her. She is still desperately grasping at her youth, so being queen would allow her to hang on a little while longer. Next we have Miss Lee. Miss Lee has been teaching for 12 years, the last two being at Tomball Memorial. She has a deep and undying love for her literary boyfriend, the American author John Steinbeck, whose picture is displayed prominently in her classroom. Miss Lee is known to have a serious coffee addiction and can be bought with Starbucks gift cards. Ms. Lee has recently discovered the Twitter and is speaking in hashtags only tonight. Hashtag winner. She's happy to be nominated for old school homecoming court even though she's too young to know what old school means. And finally, Ms. Lee is honored and humbled by the support and generosity that her students have shown in voting for her with their dollars. Hashtag give me money. Hashtag thank you. Hashtag where's my crown. And then there was Miss Milburn. Sydney <laughs> Milburn hails from Kingwood, Texas, and coaches volleyball and track here at Tombo Memorial. Sydney is no stranger to pageantry. And as a child, she can often be found in a bedroom, bedazzling her own sashes and giving speeches to crowds. Of fictitious doctors who yearned for even the slightest wave from her supple royal hands. As she grew, her dream of becoming royalty never ceased, and many a night she could be found at Willowbrook Mall, donning a tiara and barking orders to strangers and passerbys who know nothing of her greatness. In addition to her royal prowess, she's also interested in wakeboarding trickery and bus driving competitions. Recently, Miss Wilburn took home the prestigious national title of Air Brake Champion at the World Final Bus Driving Rodeo in Tempe, Arizona. For efforts, she received a lifetime supply of Alberto beef jerky, Red Man tobacco, and an assorted limited supply of Big Lots coupons. Miss Wilburn also gives her time generously to charity, creating her own foundation to assist sick dolphins Help, help them get the medical assistance they virtually need. And your final old school queen nominee is... Missy. Yazi G.
Ms. Wise climbed high school Bearcat during her school years and graduated in 2005. She participated in dance and kick butt in math and Latin. And was also a Girl Scout for five years before girl drama and fights broke out amongst the group. You know how it is, ladies. She was that cute nerd that was friends with particularly everyone and always helped friends and peers with their homework. So the teacher inside her was already manifesting itself back when she was a teenager. She went to Sam Houston State University after high school. So she went from one bear cat to another to finally a wild cat and a proud one too. She says thank you for the nomination. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the moment that these nominees have been waiting for for years. Drum roll, please. And your Tomball Memorial Old School Homecoming King is... Mr. Bean. And his lovely old school homecoming queen is Miss Milburn. <laughs> On behalf of the National Honor Society, I want to thank you to everyone who voted for this fundraiser. Go Wildcats! Through this fundraiser, the National Honor Society raised over $3,300 for scholarships. Public service announcement, there is a green car with an aquarium in the back seat that is blocking traffic. Once again, public service announcement, there is a green car with an aquarium.